Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to the video. Ki hal chal. I hope you guys are doing good. In this, we're gonna see a problem. Find all possible recipes from given supplies. So it simply says that you are given n different recipes. As you can see, you have n different recipes. I have bread here, let's say. But as an example, I have, let's say, bread, sandwich, and burger. So these are the other recipes. To make bread, to make bread, I need what? I need yeast and flour. To make sandwich, I need bread, meat. To make burger, I need sandwich, meat and bread. Did you see one thing? That to make burger, I need sandwich, which is already a recipe, which ultimately internally needs bread and meat. Bread is also internally a recipe. So that is the caveat here that, okay, to make any stuff, which means to make any recipe, you might need another recipe as an ingredient as well. So ultimately what you are given, you are given some supplies. That is, you are given yeast, flour and meat. As you can see, you can be given any number of supplies whatsoever. You have to ultimately find out what all recipes you can make. Again, make sure I'm, I'm not saying what all ingredients you can make. No, what all recipes you can make. That is your answer. So if we look at it very closely, we can just simply see, okay, when I have yeast and flour, I can make bread. So whatever is given in the question, just put it down as image. Okay? If I have yeast and flour, I can get a bread. That's the only thing which is mentioned here, right? Yeast, if I have yeast and flour, I can get a bread. Same way, if I see that, okay, I have yeast and flour, I'll get a bread, which is the same thing. Yeast and flour, I'll get a bread. And also they're mentioning if I have bread and meat, I'll get a sandwich. So if I have bread and meat, I'll get a sandwich, right? Okay, let's see. Let's see the this one. Uh, if I have, again, firstly, the same thing. If I have yeast and flour, I'll get a bread. So if I have yeast and flour, I'll get a bread. If I have uh bread and meat i'll get a sandwich right if i have bread and meat i get a sandwich and then one more extra thing they are saying is if i have sandwich meat and bread i'll get a burger if i have sandwich meat and bread I, as you can see all these are required then only i'll get a burger so that is my that's my answer now the question was not to draw this diagram per se it was primarily making sure that if you have the given supplies if i have yeast flour and corn then what all recipes i can make so obviously i'll say i have yeast and i have flour then what all recipes i can make and again there's one more corn so you can say okay i have corn as well let's say but corn obviously is not even there in my internal you know design which i have made here so i can ignore corn yeah right so if I have these things, I'll say, okay, yeast and flour I have, I can make a bread. Oh, awesome. Okay, let's continue further because it seemed very straightforward and simple. Let's continue further. It says yeast, flour and meat. He's saying I have yeast, I have flour, and then I have meat. So can't I simply say if I have yeast and flour, obviously I will have a bread. Now, now this becomes another problem. I have bread and meat. So now I'll get a sandwich. Right. Oh, awesome. Right. Okay. That's how I went about. Now, again, if I have yeast, flour and meat, let's see again. So if I have yeast, flour and meat, when I had yeast and flour, then I got a bread automatically. Now at this step, now I have bread and meat so I can easily get a sandwich. So I can easily get a sandwich. Now, when I have bread, sandwich and meat, then I can easily get a burger. Then you get a burger. So did you see that you were going level wise down and obviously always taking the first level. So have you seen any algorithm in which you take two people when these two people are done when again when both of them are done then only you go on to the child then again you take another two or three again because you can see it can be any number of them when all of them are done then you go on to the child do you know any such algorithm yes you thought it right it is topological sort if you don't know topological sort i'll highly recommend i'll link the video in the description along with it you can simply go and you know check out the crash course in the crash course again just just go on to website come on to crash course in that go on to graph in that come on to topological sort and update, get the video again we'll update the remaining videos as well today uh, so no worries on that part so yeah in this video you'll just simply get the topological sort coming on back if you know the polar this is exactly what is you know being done now 
you will see that this problem can also be done by BFS, DFS, but the most intuitive is topological sort. And that's the entire essence of topological sort. If you had seen my video for, of, to, of, of topo sort, you would have seen that primarily I say whenever you want to consider all of the inputs, then you primarily end up using topological sort. So I'll use the exact same thing. I will do that firstly, I will build up this graph. That's the first step, right? Let's say I will firstly build up this graph. That's the first step. When the graph is built, I know that I have to start my topological sort from these as the inputs. So I will say that, okay, these two, I will put as in like these all, east, floor and meat. I will put that inside my queue. So I will put east and floor and meat inside my queue. So in, inside my queue, I have east, floor and meat, right? Now, I will just remove the, again, this is now what I'm doing, a dry run of what? Of my topological sort. Cool. So now I will just, you know, I'll accept, okay, east, firstly, we'll go out of the, you know, my queue, the in degree of my bread from two, it becomes to one because east is now gone. Same way. Now I will let out floor. Floor is also gone. So when the floor is gone, so floor will be gone from here. If I just remove it quickly. Yeah. Floor will be gone from here. Then when floor is gone, again, the in degree of bread will become zero. As soon as in degree of something becomes zero, we say that now it is a candidate which can be put up inside my queue. Okay. And anything which I'm visiting is something which is being made. So I can always say that these things are being as visited, like these things are visited. So this is also gone. Okay. Let's continue further. No, like not, this is not yet gone because this is only in the queue. Now, when I put meat, okay, meat is now in the queue. So it is being removed. When I say it is being removed, sandwich in degree will become one. Earlier it was two when meat was also there, but now it is gone. So it becomes one. Okay. Awesome. Great. Uh, but isn't it the only one? Uh, technically the in degree of burger will become, it was earlier three, but now it will become two. Cool. Okay. Let's proceed forward. Now, uh, I'll just go on to burger, remove it, remove it from my corresponding queue. So I will just remove it. When I remove it, obviously in degree of sandwich will become zero. If it becomes zero, obviously it should go inside my queue now. So sandwich will go inside my queue. And with that, like what will happen to burger? Burgers in degree will reduce to one because now burger, uh, this uh, is gone. Now again, sandwich I have in queue, I will just simply remove from the queue, which means I'll remove it. As I remove it, I will get the integrity of burger as zero. And if I get the zero, it will put in, it will go inside the queue. So burger is inside the queue. And if it's inside the queue, I'll just simply get out of the queue in the next step and remove it. And now entire everything is done. So what all was visited in the process of applying a topological sort? That is all the recipes being visited. So now I know what all things were visited entirely. With that, I will iterate again on my recipes and see that, okay, which all recipes were visited. And that's gonna be my answer. Cool, let's see the code. It's exactly same as what we discussed. That firstly, I will build the graph. How the graph is built? Graph is nothing but, okay, a simple adjacency list. For a key, you have some certain vector of values. So, uh, and again, I have in degree as well because then that topological sort, which is Khan's algorithm, is based on the BFS. Again, why I am saying, uh, topological sort via BFS because it is the easiest way. You have a DFS way as well. You can check out that as well in a videos, but BFS way is the most easiest one. That's the reason we discuss the BFS way. So firstly, we go on to all the recipes in here. And then for each recipe, I'll go on to what all ingredients are required for that recipe. So for bread, if I require yeast and flour, so this ingredients will iterate on yeast and flour. I'm currently saying, okay, I'm at the current recipe, which is bread. Then I will simply say that this east, its next neighbor, which means east next neighbor will be bread and same way flows next neighbor will be bread. So this is exactly what is happening here. And because in degree of bread is increasing, that is the reason I will simply say that, you know, increase the in degree of bread by one. So whenever the east will come up, it will increase the in degree by one. The bread will come up, it will become two. Cool. Now, okay, my graph is built now. Now, as we mentioned that we have to start some things in my, from a priority, uh, priority queue. So for what all supplies I have, I'll simply iterate on them and put them inside my queue. So these are my starting point. Now comes my fun part of topological sort that I will simply say until my queue is empty, get out the front of the queue and then obviously go on to the neighbors, which means that if let's say my, my supplies were east, 
I'll get it. I'll firstly put that in my priority queue. So yeah, in my queue, I'll get it out and I'll simply remove it. I'll put the in degree of my neighbor and will reduce the degree by one. And obviously, as, as we said, that if the in degree becomes zero of the neighbor, we will simply push it back to the queue and also make sure that made, I'll put that, you know, whatever I had, let's say, for example, if I had bread. So if the in degree of that next thing, which means bread thingy, if it became zero, now this is the candidate which is made, which is made. This means I made this recipe, I'm good. So all the recipes which can be made, I'm putting up in my unordered set. Again, you can keep a hash map as well. You can keep anything. It's totally up to you. Or you can keep things in your answer as well. You know, you can directly put up answer, you know, because obviously you want some result. So you can directly put up results here as well. Obviously you have to put a check that what are recipes you wanted from your internal question. So uh, now when these all recipes being made are put up in the made, so that's how you will simply keep track of all the recipes being made. Now when the, when the topology sort is done, you will simply go back onto all the recipes, check which one are made, those one which are made, simply push that in your answer and that's your answer. So if we discuss about the time complexity, it's pretty simple. Considering if we have n recipes, in total if we have m ingredients, again make sure, I'm referring in total if we have M ingredients and let's say if we have S supplies, obviously this process will take O of M time because in total I have M ingredients. This will take O of S time just to go into all the supplies. This will again take O of M time because I'm going on to all the ingredients in worst case. This will take O of N time because again, I'm iterating on all the recipes to get the final answer result. And obviously this will be time, which is O of N plus M plus S and same way for space as well. Cool. I hope you guys like it. Again, there's a way which discusses about DFS and BFS approaches. But again, at the end of the day, they are not intuitive. And again, nearly same as what we discussed here as well. Cool. Bye bye. Take care. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure that we check out the, you know, this course. And again, if you have, haven't checked out the LLD course, then make sure that you don't mess it because it's going to be it's it is insane cool bye bye take care and like it